Hi. I'm Brad. I have ALS. This is ALS Tech, with a deep dive into using this guy for iPad Pro eye gaze control. Based on comments from my initial review of the Skyle, I am going to take a closer look at talking, typing, surfing the web, and settings that make the Skyle easier to use. To help me build this channel and the YouTube algorithm, please like this video and subscribe for more videos about using technology to live better with ALS. And please comment below to tell me what you think or ask any questions. Because I can't talk. The Proloquo Vortex app is talking for me. That is the perfect segue to talk about talking. Proloquo Vortex is an augmentative and alternative communication app or AAC. This is a fancy way to say that it will speak for you. I am showing my typing in real time, so you can see the real experience. The app gives you an extra word bar with predictive options to speed up your typing. At $120 it is not cheap. But Proloquo for text has saved my sanity more times than I can count. So I am a fan. This is how I talk to everyone who can't read my mind. It also stores phrases for quick access. Most of mine are aimed at my kids. Clothes put away. This lets me support my wife and be a decent parent. Mom is there something else I can do for you? Yes mom I'd love to help you with anything. The next stop on the sky typing train is with text messaging. Your iPad can sync with your iPhone to send SMS text messages to any phone. These show up with green bubbles. With or without a phone, the iPad can send iMessages to any iPhone or iPad. These show up with blue bubbles. My ice bucket friend is covering my text history for privacy. Here I am typing a really exciting text to my wife. This is how we have many non-urgent conversations. It's really romantic stuff. But with ALS the mundane is most important. I will show you the email as well, using some junk to demonstrate. One of the challenges of using Dwell is the accidental taps that can move the cursor to random places. So you get to see me struggle here. Enjoy.
I have five different email addresses on this iPad. It manages them perfectly. Comment below if you have set up email on Toby Dynavox. We can start a support group. Surfing the web is pretty easy, because the iPad is designed for touch and not for a mouse. The most important tool for navigating a web page is the scroll down button in the touch menu. This makes every tap scroll down until you tap the menu again. I use these scroll commands for everything. Once you tap on the link you want, Scroll down to read the article. Search for something using the search bar. Type in your terms. Choose the link to the page you want. And again you scroll down to review the page. Remember that scrolling remains active until you tap the menu again. The same thing applies to browsable apps like Facebook, Instagram and Apple News. Scroll down until you find what you want. Maybe this clickbait about apples. Don't forget to tap the menu to stop scrolling. Select the article and continue browsing. Let me know in the comments if you have any comments or questions. Now that you can see how things work, let me show you where to adjust the settings for these features. My wheelchair was a little shaky during this recording, so the pointer may be a little erratic. I will show you when it happens. Open settings. Scroll down to accessibility. Select touch. Select Assistive Touch. Tap here to customize the touch menu. This is where you choose the options in the touch menu. This is the best setup for me and I recommend that you start with these when setting up the Skyle. To change any option just tap and scroll down to select the desired option. Some are simple commands like home or app switcher. Others change your cursor actions, like scroll down or long press. Others open up like a folder with more options, like device, dwell or scroll. Here is a quick tour of the menu. I put scroll down in the main menu because I use it all the time. The scroll folder has all scroll directions that work the same way. The device folder is two levels deep with useful commands. The first level features volume control and lock screen. Tap more to get the second level with more options. You can even restart the iPad from here. The other important thing under assistive touch is the dwell settings. You can set the time it takes to tap. 
movement tolerance sets how far the cursor can move when trying to tap. Hot corners could be really useful. It allows you to assign menu commands if you dwell in the assigned corner. So if I go to the top left corner it will open the control panel. Unfortunately the scale is not always accurate when aiming for the corner or edge. They are making constant updates, which is key to keeping up with the iPad. So I am hopeful for this feature. That is the end of our deep dive into using the scale for iPad Pro. I hope you felt all the thrills of a great action movie. We covered talking, typing, surfing, and settings. What did you think? Did I answer your questions? Please comment below and I will respond. I made this video because people asked questions. And please like this video and subscribe to the ALS Tech channel so YouTube will recommend this to more people. Thanks for watching.